Uh, I'm the manager at the British Lung Foundation and we set up our health and lung community 12 months ago. We had a pre-existing community so we had a bit of a switch over between where we uh, invited our previous members to join the web community so that we had a good base of sort of BLF friendly people on there to sort of help us upsell people, to help give that advice to people, to to have it, to have basically people that already knew each other as well because although sometimes that can be a bit of a problem uh it does you know it's like having a community up and ready to go so that didn't click that didn't click <laughs> any ideas somebody just want to hit left <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Um, no te technology like the old technology. Oh, this is just a mouse. It's not even a picker. Um, so here are just some key stats about our, our, our community. So this top one is one I'm really pleased with. It's um, This is from Google Analytics itself. So we've got a 50-50 split between new and returning visitors on the site, which is great for us. It means that we've got 50% you know, of those people are just have stumbled upon it for the first time, it's, they're, they're finding the information. I mean, we've got our, I haven't got our visit length on there, but our average visit length across all visitors is uh, just above half an hour. So the stat that was brought up before was the average for members, but our average across all visitors is that high. So that's, you know, really great news for us. Oh yeah, I have got it, it's the next one. Um, our average views, average amount of pages viewed is six. So with our, we've got just under 3,000 members. So that totals a third of a million page views a month, which is considerably higher than our main website. So that's that's again another great figure. But I think one of the uh, one of the challenges that we have is driving people from Health Unlocked to our website. I mean, because a lot of this traffic comes from NHS site, which I'm sure a lot of you have as well. They don't necessarily even know that it's a BLF community. They don't really know much about the support services that we offer, which is part of why when we started it off, we had the, our core members from our existing forum over. Our existing forum over three years had 900, and within one year, we've got 3,000 members on this one. So we're very, very pleased with those results. Uh, 50,000 visits this, this last month. Uh, and again, this sort of reiterates what was said before about the amount of mobile traffic. Half of all of our mobile traffic is via iPad and a quarter is from iPhone. So it's great news that they're going to improve that. But equally, it's nice to know that it's not so much of a barrier that it's, they're not on there at all. I mean, the iPad is a, is, takes up so much of our traffic across all of our online collateral. And, um, we think that's just because our demographic is, well, our core demographic is elderly, and we just think that people are getting fed up of buying their parents' laptops that they can't use. And <laughs> just kept it simple and give them an iPad. <laughs> but it still isn't working. Okay, I think I'll just get this one, you know what this looks like. So what I want to talk to you about is how we have integrated the, our health and community across all of our online collateral. We want to be driving people, I might as well put this down there. Um, we, we know that where people, well, we know as much as you do about where people are coming from. Obviously a lot of it is direct traffic and a lot of it is from NHS choices, but we are keen to drive people from our website into health and not and vice versa. So you can see on the right hand side there, that is um, taken directly from an RSS feed. We were given the, I guess you were all given the code for the widget to embed on your sites, but we're pretty hot on making sure that everything we do is branded. We don't like, and we don't really like widgets to stand out as widgets. So that's one means that we've done that, just using the, the basics of the RSS feed. Uh, next one, please. Uh, so Facebook, we created an app for that so that we could um, actually pull that live feed via the RSS onto our Facebook page. So we've got the tab there, which you can see, and then next feed. And then we created this within it. So this is it's always a very interesting sort of conversation to be had about your Facebook users and your community users and where that crossover really sits. 
we see our, well, <laughs> through you looking at Facebook Insights, we know that our Facebook audience is younger, is made up less of people that are suffering from lung conditions, but, and a lot of it is our fundraising eventers, but still there's a, there's a good call for crossover there. And I think making people aware of it, making people aware of the reach that the organization has is really, really, really powerful. Um, our fundraising eventers, I've always been surprised by how interested they are in our in those people that are suffering from lung conditions. We send out emails to our eventers and uh, the majority of the content is about runs and treks that they can do on our behalf. But literally every email we send, the most clicked on link is always case study information, which blew my mind. I didn't expect that at all. It was something that I sort of insisted on going in there just as a reminder for people and just because we don't want to just be facilitating people going, running the marathon and giving them spaces. So I think it's always worth I think it's always worth remembering that across all your platforms, push it all out, push it all out, push everything out that, you, that you're doing because um, it's very easy to pigeonhole people by the social media channel or by the website or by the community and say, well, this lot of people do this and this lot of people do that because chances are you're wrong. Uh, next slide, please. So yeah, now, now that the RSS feed is out there, uh, we're able to do automatically so we've set up a, a twitter feed specifically for the web community that automatically tweets every time a new thread is started uh, we don't have to do anything on this whatsoever we only set this up quite recently so we've not got masses of followers but what you'll see is that you'll just you basically you'll have a very keyword rich twitter stream generated from this based on your based on your community uh, and then on our main Twitter feed, which is <coughs> this one, we retweet from the web community feed well, at least once or twice a day. So it's, an, it's a nice soft way of basically getting people across that. And this Twitter feed is just a great way of finding people that are searching for anything. We'll, so in the last week, we had 150 new threads. So that's 150 tweets that we didn't have to send. But, um, that will, that will just pull people in and then hopefully keep keep the whole thing alive um, across those channels. This is another this is another thing that we've just rolled out. So with the um, with the RSS feed, which is my new favourite thing, uh, we've got this sidebar widget which is available in all of our emails. This is just a, obviously our test email template with it in. But what that means is that when we send out an email communication and we include that widget, um, it pulls through in real time the latest uh, posts on the forum. So rather than it being the posts at the time that we sent it, it's the latest ones. Uh, no matter what time you open it, you can reopen it three days later and it'll have the latest ones. We're really pleased with that. We're yet to see the results from that because we haven't, we haven't had it, it's so new, we haven't actually push that email with it but one problem I guess is worth pointing out whenever you're doing anything like this and you're auto generating content is you can't control what is being put out there so <laughs> obviously we've sent out a tweet that just says it's a boy but <laughs> there's not much we can do about that and we don't and and we, we try and disclaim it wherever wherever possible um, some of it some of it I mean that's a that's a classic those are three classic examples of of headings that look like spam. Cheap inhalers, losing weight, need to reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check this slide properly. <laughs> but that's uh, <laughs> genuine threads, you know, that's how, it, that's, that's how it works. But I think it's really important to, with, me, with, the, with your community is to, is to is is your way of converting. Converting goes two ways. So getting people onto your forum is great, but and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way and that you don't really have you don't have the data on those individuals. You, what you really want to be doing is you want to be soft selling them up to your services on your newsletters. And I think for us that's that's the big challenge. What we're doing with everything that I've shown you here is that we're driving people from our existing platform. So we're basically hoping that BLF knowledgeable individuals are going onto the forum and telling the people on there that aren't aware of the BLF and their services and driving them to those services. Uh, 
and we're hoping that that's how we're going to drive our conversions because <clears throat> the newly diagnosed audience, which is pretty much the largest part, I would assume, of all of our audiences, especially our new sign-ups, just need to you know need, need to know that much more. I mean, it's a great. There's no recommendation better than a sort of peer-to-peer -peer recommendation. Um, and that's how, and that means that those people that we do convert up from the forum are much more likely to engage afterwards. Um, I mean, that's really. I mean, those those are the those are the, that's the key learning I think that we found is that is that is that our people on there that are giving that recommendation that are doing the altruistic stuff are helping not just the individual but they're helping the organisation as well. Um, and I'd be really interested to know what you guys are doing actually to to get people from the forum onto your, onto your other online collateral and whether anyone's tracking conversions yet on that or, or anything like that. I mean, we're, we're, we're really, I mean, I keep stressing it, but we're very happy with how the forum itself is going, how a health lot is going on, on its own, but what we really want to know is, uh, is how we can get those people's data. <laughs> and then their money. <laughs> so that's you know that that's just an overview of the sort of the late the, the tricks that we're doing using the stuff that's out there.